Okay, today I'm going to show you how to uh, delete file folders using the command prompt. The reason why I'm going to do this is because uh, today I had an issue where I opened up a folder of crap like this, and I had about a hundred text documents in it which I wished to delete, and instead my explorer crashed because I probably have a virus or there's some other issue that I need to have addressed, but I haven't done it yet. Anyway, uh, my explorer crashed, which it looks like it's not doing too good right now, so I went ahead and I canceled explorer.exe. Obviously, you don't need to do this if your explorer hasn't crashed, but I'm going to do it just for the sake of doing it. So then, uh, that usually gets rid of the explorer, which it isn't actually gone right now. I don't know why. Computer's running like junk, but whatever. Anyway. Then I went ahead and opened up uh, the command prompt, which to do that, if you have the Windows Task Manager open, by pressing Control alt and delete go ahead and go to New Task, and type CMD, and press Enter. That'll, go, that'll open up your, uh, your Explorer. I think everything's running so slow because I'm actually running a virus scan while I'm doing this, which I have no idea why it's running this bad, but whatever. Uh, then just go ahead and find your folder. Mine was on my desktop, so if I, I'm already automatically in documents and settings, so the desktop's in here. If I type there, then it comes up and it's just called desktops, then all you gotta do is type cd for change directory and then desktop. And then that'll navigate me to my desktop. And then if I type dir one more time, That'll show everything in my desktop. So that's what DRR does. It shows you what's in the directory you're on. So, uh, and then the folder that I wanted to delete its contents was called... Folder of Crap, right here. So then all I need to do is type DEL. This also works for files, but I'm going to delete the contents of a folder so I can do it all at once. So if you have a single file, you just do it the exact same way. Only keep in mind that if you have a single file, it doesn't let you confirm, like press yes or no. It'll just delete it. And this will delete it permanently, so it's not going to get sent to the recycle bin. So make sure that you know it needs to be deleted. So anyway, just type delete whatever your folder is called. If there's spaces, put it in um, quotes. So folder mouse away, folder of crap, and quotations, press enter, then I'll ask you, are you sure, yes or no, that's only, to keep in mind, that's only if you're deleting a folder, if you're deleting a file, it'll just delete it, but since I'm deleting a folder, it asks me, since it's deleting everything, as you can see here, so then I just type Y for yes, and then enter, there, now it's gone, the folder will still be there, but all its contents will be gone, I'll show you that in just a second. Anyway, then if you have anything else to delete anywhere else, you can just do a cd to change directory. And then if you want to go up a directory, just type a cd, period, period, and then that'll bring you to the, your previous directory in, uh, in the uh, address line here. Anyway, uh, if you ever need to delete something using the command prompt, that's how you do it. Alright, good. Okay, anyway, now that I'm done with that, computer is still frozen for some reason. Go ahead and open up the uh, Windows Task Manager. Go to a new task and type Explorer. Oops, Explorer. Enter. And that'll reopen my Windows Explorer, which is opening nice and slow. For some reason my Havast antivirus is glitched on the screen there. Not sure what's up with that. Whoa, look at this. Yeah. Your computer will probably not do this. My computer's just running really bad right now. But I will hit that stone when I come to it. I'll probably edit out all this loading in the video. <laughs> so if it all of a sudden pauses and comes back, I wasn't cheating. Alright? Okay. Okay. It's, it's loaded now, so if I double-click folder of crap, if you notice, it is now empty. That's because I deleted everything from the command prompt. So, uh, good tutorial. Goodbye.